The Edison Electric Illuminating Company of New York was incorporated in 1880 to provide New York City with electric power and light. By 1900, more than 30 companies were started for the very same purpose. All in New York. In 1901, Consolidated Gas acquired those companies and named Thomas E. Murray to oversee that consolidation and subsequent expansion of the system. With us here tonight is Thomas E. Murray's great-grandson, Sean McGuire. Please welcome Sean McGuire. Card here. Now, um, I feel like we should be singing. <laughs> uh, no, they know we shouldn't. Uh, now, this is th this man is, is an industrial giant who literally left his name in lights across the greatest city of the world, and somehow has vanished from history. Yes. Um, one of the problems with Murray, there were three. Uh, oh, yeah? okay. No, okay, okay, great. Um, yeah, he, he almost disappeared, and that was really why I started to uh, look back and try to get him into the Inventors Hall of Fame, because by the time you uh, become a great-grandchild, uh, often the uh, great-grandparents are gone, and there's no link anymore. Um, I forgot what I was supposed to say here. Well, you're supposed to say uh, that when you were searching for him, how did you find out about him? He's got all these patents. He's a giant. Thank you. Um, yeah, coming from an Irish Catholic family, uh, we grew up hearing that Murray had 1,500 patents and he invented everything from the power plant to the light bulb. Um, you know, and, and Irish Catholics have been known to exaggerate a little bit. <laughs> so um, I actually decided I was going to take it upon myself and take a look and see how many patents I could find. And I, I found 462 of them. And that's 16% of what's being inducted here tonight. Um, and, and they represent everything from the power plant, boilers, things like that, through the conduits, uh, right to getting stuff into the house, getting the electricity into the house, uh, indoor wiring, fuses, um, meters, all sorts of stuff. I mean, it really, really is quite remarkable. And how is he remembered in the family as a person? That's a good question. Um, we don't have a huge amount of information about that. Um, he was obviously pretty severe and pretty busy with all those patents, but um, that was the one thing that uh, I missed, was uh, the idea of being able to have something directly from him. So I, I know more about you than I know about him right now. I mean, I, I think time steals context, and uh, to a certain extent stole a lot of his context. Uh, so it's a little bit difficult to know what kind of guy he was. Time does not steal genetic inheritance. Uh, has anything been passed along from your great-grandfather? Alcoholism. <laughs> well, congratulations. <laughs> In our family, we just call it the problem. Um, no, it's... <laughs> Other Irish Catholics out there? All right. <laughs> yeah, I, I, also, I also invent stuff and uh, have had about 10 patents pending during this process. Um, and today? And today, um, I uh, was granted a patent. <laughs> Filed when he was six. No, it just felt like that. <laughs> what is the invention? Uh, the invention is for an uh, ATM card process. So it's a debit card process. We'll be in <laughs> your debt forever. Thanks very much. Congratulations.